New tonight, the first African American mayor of Savannah's legacy lives on. The Floyd Adams Jr. City Services Complex officially opened today on Interchange Drive. WSAV's Brian Gallagher joins us now with reaction from his family and how this will improve city services. 25 years ago, Mayor Adams made history in this city after being elected. And today, his family and city officials are not only proud of what work will be done inside the facility, but the name attached to the complex as well. We're recognizing not only his life and legacy, but we're also saying that he lived, he loved, and he made a difference in Savannah. The new $43 million complex that spans over 38 acres is officially open for business. This is a step in the city's plan to move its staff out of lease buildings into city owned ones. Hundreds of members of Team Savannah uh, now have the newest, most state of the art building uh, in our inventory. 11 buildings that house 435 City of Savannah employees across its 17 departments, allowing for better coordination, opportunities, and overall more efficient services to its residents. Some of those include capital projects management, development services, fleet services, greenscapes, real estate services, recreation and user services. City Manager Jay Melder also says that 29% of the complex budget is already impacting other projects. 11.5 million went to local disadvantaged business enterprises and minority women owned business enterprises. Members of the Adams family expressed gratitude seeing the impact the complex has already, as well as the honor of having the complex named after their family member and first African American mayor for the city of Savannah. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And this happened after City Council voted to name the complex after Adams back in September. Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side.